Folks, Cleveland real estate. It's hot right now. There's a lot of hot stuff going on in Cleveland. Friggin' the massage parlor industry, to my understanding, if you got stock in that. Woo! Boy, did that just go up. You know what I'm saying? For those of you who don't watch sports, we just we just signed Deshaun Watson. He's got $230 million to play with. I Honestly, I'm about to analyze a rental property for my client. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Now that I think about it, I ding, ding, ding. Why are we analyzing rental? We should just analyze massage parlors, and we should be buying those, right? I mean, sweet Jesus, that guy's going to spend a lot of money. But I digress. What, what we're doing today is not going to be analyzing massage parlor, no. It's a residential property for my man, Larry. Larry lives in San Jose. San Jose's hot too, baby. Hot, expensive. A lot of you out there in San Jose might be just like Larry. You're like, hey, man, I can't afford the real estate out here, okay? I'm going to try to give me something cheap in the Cleveland market. And, you know, I want more than one tenant. I don't want a business that relies just on Deshaun. So, Jay Wise, can you get me a rental property that's going to work during Deshaun's reign as well as after? Yes. Yes, I can. And that's what I'm doing right now, Larry. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I got a deal ski for y'all. Got a deal ski for y'all. Now. Investing in the Cleveland market is a very, very profitable thing. The only thing that I could think of that's more profitable than investing in Cleveland real estate is owning a Cleveland massage parlor now that Deshaun has come to town. But I digress. I'm not a licensed masseuse, and I also don't feel like I'm the kind of person whose DMs he's going to climb up in. So I, like all of you, have to do other things, and I have to spend my money on residential real estate. So you know what? Number two ain't that bad, folks. And this deal is going to be good. 10513 Bernard Avenue, 44111. It's been on the market for two days, and we are going to need to move on this sucker, folks. 129000 That is what they are asking. And we're going to give them 130. we We're going to want to pay 130. we We're going to go $100 uh, above list price here. It's very, very nice, right? Look at this thing. Uh, they renovated one of the units. Now, it's not vacant anymore. They're just showing you what it looked like prior to them putting their tenant in there. Okay, very, very nice, right? Fresh, clean, crisp. This is exactly what you got, Ex exactly what you want, right? They got a tenant in that unit paying seven and a quarter. Other tenant, I'm sorry, the tenant in that unit is paying seven, uh, 75 and then they got a long-term tenant downstairs paying five fifty, right? Uh, very, very nice property. As a matter of fact, they actually missed the mark a little bit. Uh, they should have put that new tenant in there at eight and a quarter because that's what both of these units are going to rent for in 2022, right? 2022 is unlike any other time, right? In like 2020 in Cleveland, uh, first of all, you could get an appointment at a massage parlor. It wasn't all booked. Not the case in 2022, folks. I'm pretty sure our guy Deshaun has got all those chicks working. But I digress. In addition to not being able to book appointments there, you can't – uh, get super, super cheap housing like that anymore. Like in, in 2020, yeah, that would have run it for like 750 Today, eight and a quarter all day, right? So they missed the mark a little bit. In reality, they could be renting this thing for 1650 right? Should be bringing in close to twenty k for the year. Now, having my team manage it, I uh, project fixed and variable, uh, variable expense estimates to look like what you see on the chart. I think you'll bring down approximately ten thousand two hundred thirty-three dollars a year on average, right? So if we do pay the one thirty, I want to go hundred bucks over list because a lot of people are going to want to take this thing down again. It's hot, second hottest thing you can invest your money in in the Cleveland market. Am I right? Now, I believe that'll be a long-term invest uh, cash on cash return, approximately sixteen and a third percent, right? Uh, now, here's the thing. That would, uh, that would getting that cash on cash return, folks, that would involve you getting the tenants up to market rent. I don't think you can get them up to market rent, like, immediately. Yes, the one tenant paying 775 boom, as soon as their lease is up, 
50 bucks, boom, they're not moving out. That's a beautiful unit, okay? The other tenant, it's not going to be as beautiful. We don't even have pictures. They're a long-term tenant, but I guarantee you it don't look like what you saw in the picture, folks. So you don't want them to move out, so you don't want to go right to eight and a quarter. You just want to go probably 100, 100, 100. Keep them in there without doing a turnover, and that's how you'll maximize your cash-on-cash -cash return. Now, this is Cleveland, West Cleveland. I consider this to be a C-grade neighborhood, right? The numbers, they looked great, but you got to know more. You got to know more when you're investing in real estate, folks. I try to give you guys an insight into what's going on around town, right? And yeah, we do happen to have a super high-profile guy that loves a bit of rub and tug, but that is not really what the show's about. That's funny, but what we should be focusing on is the neighborhoods, right? Now, what you need to know about this neighborhood is I've graded this neighborhood as a C-grade neighborhood. Now, I've graded all of the neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland area on an 8F scale. And that grading scale is called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. It is linked below for your viewing pleasure. It is also on the Tools and Resources tab on HoltonWise.com. Check that out to see what a C-grade neighborhood means. Uh, very safe, stable but the tenants are not necessarily going to be wealthy. So it works well for cash paying tenants, but also Section 8 tenants. Uh, you got to take the good with the bad, right? But I think for new investors, C grade is a pretty solid investment. And what's nice with this one is it's so much nicer. Uh, you probably should have fewer problems. Uh, in addition, right, let's pull up what the listing agent said. The listing agent is actually the owner, she's the seller, so it's a realtor. Uh, amazing opportunity to own a fabulous investment property. This home has two units. Top floor has been completely renovated. Bedroom and kitchen have been fully redone. New flooring and paint throughout the unit. Windows have been replaced as well. The lower unit has two beds and one bathroom. It has been occupied for years. The lower unit has central air conditioning. One of the hot water tanks has been replaced in the last year. The roof was replaced two years ago. One furnace is approximately 10 years old. One approximately 20. Both have been regularly serviced and were recently serviced. Fully occupied with the same tenants for the last two years. They are month to month, but would love to stay in the home. They are amazing tenants. Uh, must have an accepted offer to tour the property. By the way, they are amazing tenants. Don't worry about that. Everybody says that. Right? Anybody that's selling, like, oh, tenants are awesome. Everybody says that. I don't know if they're awesome. I'm sure they're average. Right? I've never had a seller who's like, my tenants suck. No, they're always like, my tenant is so great. They're going to be C-grade tenants, folks. That's why I developed the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Review that if you want to know what the tenants are probably like. Yes, the seller, she's going to tell you they're the best tenants in the world. Review the ultimate guide. Okay? That's probably what they're like. Now, uh, that roof, by the way, being only two years old, that's great. Roofs are like 8 Gs, okay? You don't have to worry about it for another 28 years, okay? Good stuff there. Uh, we need to talk about lead, though, right? Uh, the fact that it's fully renovated, has the new windows, that's great because this property is going to fall under Cleveland's new lead paint certification ordinance. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. This chick is a realtor, and she doesn't even know about it, right? Uh, last time I checked, 80,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland. Only 7,000 have been lead certified, okay? Now, it is so unknown, because these are new laws, that I made a video explaining how they work. I put that in the show notes below. You need to watch that. Do not buy a property in Cleveland if you don't understand that process. A lot of people are not going to understand it. It's not like a point of sale, which I have a video on point of sale as well, uh, where there's going to be like the stopgap preventing you from buying this house that's not lead certified. You could still sell them. But as a rental property owner, you're going to now be required to get it lead certified eventually. If your tenant stops paying rent, you ain't going to be able to evict them, so you lead certify it, right? So it's important stuff, but not a lot of people know about it. So when you're doing an analysis on these properties, you have to look. Like, does this property, uh, since I'm going to be the one taking over the lead certification, is this property going to require a ton of work? Answer, no. This one's going to be awesome, right? This is why this is a valuable property, right? Fully renovated. You got aluminum siding outside, and you got the new windows, right? Those are the two biggest pain points, folks. If you have old wood siding and you have old original wood windows, when you go to get your property lead certified, they're going to fail, most likely, and you're going to spend a lot of money, right? It's like 15 Gs uh, or more to side a house this big. Uh, windows, I mean, come on. That, you're looking at huge prices. So the fact that this particular property has all that done for you makes this deal a home run. When we go to certify this, we should have very, very, very few issues. So I really do love this deal. 
I love C grade investing, right? This neighborhood, we got friggin' thousands of tenants over there. Uh, we do very, very well, right? Again, it's great. It's versatile, right? Because you can go cash, you can go section eight. It's quite nice, right? It's not a one trick pony, right? It doesn't go to the massage parlor and ask for the same level of service every single time. No, there's variables here, right? You know what I'm saying? All told, jokes aside, this is a solid deal. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.